This podcast is part of the Loosely Connected Network. Visit www.thelooselyconnected.com for more great podcasts, networks, Twitch streams, YouTube channels, and more. Loot Crate. Loot Crate is an exclusive pop culture collectibles and gear box. Do you know what that is? Yes, Tony. You just said it. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I just realized that. Okay. So, um, every month you get this box, and this month has franchises of Rick and Morty, Harlequin, Office Space, and DC. So, yeah, it's a box you get every month, has a theme, and um, subscription is about 20 bucks a month. But if you guys use a promo code NTFTTPOD, you get 10% off. Sound cool? cool. Sound cool? Cool. Yes. It, it, it sounds awesome. Boy, it sounds awesome. Okay, cool, because now we're going to move on to the show. <laughs> I love, I love, I love, I love, I love the Come with me if you want to live. I love, I love, I love, I love, I love the No time for time travel. Welcome to the No Time for Time Travel Podcast, where we're a podcast for nerds by nerds. My name is Tony, and joining me this week, all the way from Sweden, is Quok. Hello. All right, we are a podcast where um, you guys suggest a topic for us to discuss as the topic of the episode. And this week, we got a suggestion from John Layola, who is the One Track Punk, and he is the host of the One Track Punk show and co-host of the One Track Gamers show with Corey and Amanda. And his question is, if you got to run a convention of your own, the NTFTT Con, what would you have? Uh, who would be your headliners or guests? Okay. So, yeah, okay. that's a very interesting topic. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, before we get into that, how are you doing? <laughs> uh, I've, I've been pretty good. Um, I think recently it started raining over here in Sweden. So biking becomes a, a, a biking to work or and back home becomes a little bit more uh, complicated, I guess. I just need to bike home as fast as I can before it starts raining. <laughs> the what? But, Say that again? No, I, said, I need to bike home as fast as I can before it starts raining. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it, it has like certain dry spells every few hours, so just need to find that winning. Oh, okay, cool. Um, but aside from that, it's uh, it's been pretty good. Uh, nothing changed since I don't know when the last time was. Uh, you know probably know? three weeks ago, two weeks ago. Okay, I don't know. Yeah, since last time. <laughs> yeah. So not much really changed. Um, yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Pony? Um, well, I think the last time I talked to you, what did my engagement thing already happen? I forgot. Yeah, yes. yes. Okay. Then since then, not much either. <laughs> Is it mostly uh, wedding planning? Yeah, um, we have some more meetings set up so that we, we could talk more about like the projectors at the venue and things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, not much has changed recently. Um, I mean, we have a team building activity that's also like a party for our escape room tonight. Um, so yeah. Oh, I thought you were gonna say like for your work. Oh no, no, not my going work. to an escape room. <laughs> no, no, I mean my my business. So. Oh uh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm looking at my list of things. Oh yeah, tomorrow is Power Morphicon. So actually, it starts today. We're recording on the 17th of August, and that's the 17th in the U.S. Actually, it's the 17th for you, too. Um, but, yeah, Power Morphicon is the Power Rangers convention that starts uh, today, uh, and then it ends on Sunday. So, I have tickets to go for tomorrow, which is a Saturday. Is it only one day for you? Just one day. I mean, there's you, you can pretty much get through everything in one day. Um, mm-hmm. It's only if you want to, like, spend extra time to, like, talk to the, the previous actors and stuff like that. I mean, I've done it before, like two years ago was the last time they had the convention, and I also did everything in one day. Um, yeah, it, it's fine. It's cool. So, did you, I'm surprised you didn't do longer than that because, like, you, you, you seem like you were pretty close with that. Yeah, one day is good. <laughs> 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 yeah. No, I, I mean, like, on Sunday, I just gotta, um, make sure I, cause I'm working at the escape room on Sunday. So, uh-huh. um, so I don't wanna, like, buy more days. If I'm going to be busy on Sunday. Oh, okay, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, and today, too, for the uh, escape room thing. So, only one day. So, that'll be cool. Cool to is see it everyone again. Or is it- it's three days. So, yesterday was day zero. And day zero was only for the original Red Ranger. Um, because he couldn't make it to the actual convention uh, from Friday to Sunday. So, then yesterday, he met with the fans to do signings and photos. Um, 
And you know the the command center, like in the original Power Rangers? Uh-huh. It's um based off a real structure. So oh. uh they had it was it's in LA, so they had a um a tour of it yesterday. So that was kinda cool. But I didn't go because oh. um I was working. So it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Other than that, not much else, I guess. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. Well have fun tomorrow. Yeah, I will try to. You know later. No, actually, this year they moved it to um, Anaheim Convention Center. Oh, that's convenient. It's so convenient for you. I know. It's only like 10 minutes away. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> and then, um, actually, this year, I got a few of my friends from pharmacy, um, pharmacy school um, to actually come with me. So, it'll be cool, too, because then they have, like, siblings, too, that, you know, would really enjoy that convention. Huh. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's a bigger group, you know, bigger than just by myself two years ago. Oh wow! It's gonna yeah. be four, five, seven. Maybe around there. I think uh, at minimum five right now. Oh, nice! So that would oh, be cool. Nice. What was that? I said that's a lot. Yeah, I'm actually. What I'm looking forward to is the cosplay because I remember two years ago, the cosplay was really cool. Not just the regular ranger suits, but like there were people dressed up as um, the Megazords, mm-hmm. but they would be on stilts and then dressed up as Megazords. So they're huge. Like they're actually really big. You, you do know. If you have five people, you can form your own Megazord this year. Oh, yeah. There's five people with maybe <laughs> maybe a six person, which still works. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Still too, not too late. Too late. Too late. No. It's like, it's in less than 24 hours. Yeah, you still have eight hours to go. I guess I could just ask everyone to wear a different color <laughs> from the yeah, original. Right. <laughs> yeah. That would be cool. Uh, yeah. Anyway... We can move on to the news if there's nothing else. Sure, yeah. All right, cool. So let's see. Um, uh, oh yeah. So the last time we talked, we we're talking about how um, remember how James Gunn got fired from Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh huh. Yeah, and then uh, since the time that we talked until now, like this week, they were in discussion uh-huh. with him, and then it, it looked like they were going to rehire him. Um, and then as of like two days ago, or Disney was like firm on the decision and saying they're not going to rehire him. Yeah. Yep. So, so same status. Yeah. Same status as the last time uh, we talked about that news. Okay. Yeah. So don't know what's going to happen now, but people are expecting a bunch of actors to leave. At least the guy who plays, um, Drax, um, Bautista, Dave Bautista, he already uh-huh. said that if they're not going to, um, keep him on with his script, then he's going to quit. Like, he already publicly said that. Oh, okay. So, we'll, well see what happens. Let's see. Uh, what else? Do you have any news item? Um, were you, uh, did you check out that one movie, or, yeah, I guess movie that I sent you guys on the chat uh, called Next Gem? You know what? It's a Netflix thing, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a Netflix thing. I think I saw it, but I don't remember exactly what it was. It, it's Big Hero 6 on Netflix. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you said it was like Big Hero 6 plus something else. Yeah, yeah. Like a mix plus, of something. Uh, yeah, it, it's like iRobot or, or one of the Terminators where the robot finally turned on you. So, okay. So, Big Hero 6 with like revenge. Not revenge, but... Yeah, but, but pretty much, it's pretty much iRobot with Big Hero 6. Okay, cool. That's cool. But it looks cool. <laughs> awesome. Looks cool. Yeah, I'll probably check that out. Is it like a movie or a series? Uh, I think it's a movie. Oh, okay. Um, for, for listeners who don't know what we're talking about, there's a next net Netflix movie, uh, coming out, uh, called Next Gen. And uh, for me, I, I just said like, uh, this trailer's, uh, all over already. But for me, I just thought it was, it reminded me of Big Hero 6 plus a robot. Cool. All right. Let me yeah. see. I'm looking for other news. Um, you know, the Venom trailer, when you saw that, yeah, the newest one, um, how do you feel about it? Meh. Okay. So, the early box office tracking for the movie um, is actually saying that it could break an opening weekend record. Oh, God. Yeah. So, we'll see. It did look a little better than I was expecting on the newer trailer. Yeah. I wasn't expecting much to begin. So. Yeah. Yeah. Th- that's true. Like, it's definitely the best trailer they have so far. <laughs> I mean, you could also say it's the best live action Venom because, you know. No, I don't want to say that. (laughs) 
So you think the one from Spider-Man 3 is better? <laughs> well, no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so really the only other live action that you can compare it to. I mean, like, they, they introduced that one well. I like the character. I just wish they went more into it. That's true. I, I, I still thought they chose a wrong, the wrong actor, though, for that one. For uh, the Spider-Man 3? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> Spider-Man 3 as a whole was was kind of a joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that's true. <laughs> yeah, so, I, I mean... But I think, like, concept-wise and everything, it was kind of nice with the characters because it felt like nostalgia Mm -hmm. with uh, watching, like, the old Spider-Man series, the cartoon series. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. And this one, it was was definitely different, but it felt like it had no direction. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know, like, what what I was supposed to expect, what I'm supposed to expect. Uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing, but, yeah. So I'm like, yeah, it's okay. It's, It's just... Venom, Venom replaced someone else, but I think he, was it you or somebody else that I heard from that was said it was like part of a one of the the world the Spider Man world comic thing, right? Um, don't it's know what you're specific. talking about, but I think it, well, it sounds like Sony's not really making it immediately part of the the universe of Marvel, but mm-hmm. I think so. A while back, before they did Spider Man Homecoming, like um, mm-hmm. they were trying to do this whole Spider Verse. Where it right. was just, uh, yeah. yeah, all the different, like, they were going to do a Sinister Six movie. <clears throat> um, but then, um, then, you know, Amazing Spider-Man 2 did really bad. So then they had to go back to the drawing board and then they did Spider-Man Homecoming. And now that that's a success, they're like, oh, let's try to do Venom again. So, but then this isn't really connected to the Spider-Man Homecoming. Yeah. Which is kind of weird, but they're leaving the door open for a possible crossover in the future, which makes it even more weird. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know well, what's going on. We'll see what happens. Yeah. But they, they said symbiote this time. I know. Maybe they fixed all of that. Like, they went back and said, oh, crap, we got to change all the pronunciation. Everyone hates us. So Yeah, they did. <laughs> yep. Well, that's that's a positive. So, they listen. Um, yeah. Well, or, unless yeah. it's just that one guy that says it correctly. <laughs> I know. Or, or it was just the one person that mispronounced it and they're like, hey, let's put this in the trailer so everyone hates us and then when we show the right way, they think that we listen to them. <laughs> so, That'd be smart yeah. market. Yeah. I mean, they didn't really have a good smart marketing move in the first place because the first trailer showed nothing. Yeah. It was just like generic horror movie. That's true. Yeah. Um, speaking of remakes, I guess, uh, Mulan is getting remade to a live action. Did you get to see the new um, official picture of the person playing the Mulan? No. Is it Michelle Yeoh? No, something? it's not. It's uh, it's Crystal Lu or Lu Yifei. Look her up. It's actually, I am very happy with the casting when they announced it a while back. And I'm even happier with the look that they just showed, like the first official look. Because um, um, like, Asian. yes, she's actually Asian. It's not Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> so... <laughs> But, like, so this girl was in another movie that um, I thought she played pretty well in. It was The Forbidden Kingdom. You remember Oh, that that's why she was familiar. Yeah. And in that movie, I was like, huh, she wouldn't be a good Mulan if they made a live-action Mulan. And then it was kind of funny because when they were um, announcing, like, they cast it, the person from Mulan, they said that they spent the entire year in a worldwide search for the person to play new Mulan. And then they just chose her. It's uh, which is someone that they worked with before, <laughs> you know. So, tired. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, what do you think? There's not much to really compare it to. Yeah, uh, yeah. And I don't know. Like I, I saw like the. I think there was like a the Chinese version of Mulan, like live action before as well. Yeah, yeah, there was. Yeah, but uh, I think we'll we'll see what happens. I'm not. Once I have more information, uh, it's well, for first. But then, first of all, getting a, a, an Asian female lead is the right step towards that. <laughs> well, I think you'd probably need to know that most of the cast is Asian. That, so, that's, that's the right step. Yeah, yeah. Donnie Yen will be in it, and Jet Li will be in it, and Gong Li from Memoirs of a Geisha will be in it. So it's like pretty much a ninety percent Asian cast. I, w- I wonder what the other ten percent will be. Um, I see a name that seems Indian, which is, I guess, technically Asian. Okay. So, so uh, yeah, mostly Chinese names. I mean, yeah, yeah, no, but I mean, it's a good, it's a good 
uh, sign that it's Asian casted. Yeah, yeah, it's a really good sign that it's Asian casted. Yeah. So wait, did, uh, was this before or after like the the casting? Was that before or after the whole um, was it Crazy Rich Asian movie thingy? You mean after Crazy Rich Asians was released or something or what? Or I mean announced. No, not released. I don't know because Crazy Rich Asians almost came out of nowhere. Yeah. But they finished this casting from Mulan a while back. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, now they actually already started filming. And, yeah. And um, these are just the behind the scenes like photos. Ah, okay. Cool. Well, yeah. we'll see what happens in a couple years. Hopefully yeah. it turns out well because it's one of my favorite uh, Disney movies. They're not yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully, but I mean, so the director is a female, um, so that's also good because it's a female mm-hmm. lead. Um, but she's not Asian, so that's I, fine. I, I, I'm, that's probably fine. Um, let's yeah. see. I'm looking at her. Her name is uh, Nicola Caro or Nikki Caro. I'm looking at her mm-hmm. filmography. She did this something called The Zookeeper's Wife. Have you heard of that? Zookeeper's Wife. That sounds familiar, uh, but I haven't seen it go. Oh, okay. It looks like it's all, like, lesser-known films, but they're all, like, critically acclaimed. Mm. So, that sounds pretty cool. Yeah. So, hopefully this is going to do well. Here's yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I hope so, too. Yeah. Let's see. What other news item? Uh, do you have anything else? Uh, it's not really news, but it's just random things I found <laughs> that I just want to share with the, the listeners. Remember how that one time I showed you that show for Detective uh, Pikachu? Yeah. yeah, and then uh, in my head I was like, "Oh, it would be so funny! It just sounds really manly and rough." Yeah, <laughs> like Pikachu. And then I saw the trailer, and I was like, "Oh, that that wasn't a joke. That it actually happened." So, yeah. yeah, no. Like, if you guys, or if listeners want to check out what it sounded like, or haven't seen uh, the mm. 3DS game version of uh, Detective Pikachu, sounds pretty. It's pretty has a pretty deep voice. Yeah, so at first, um, when I was like just imagining it, I also thought the same thing a while yeah. back because you take the Pikachu, is he going to be like a rough private eye voice like, you know, the guy yeah. who played the detective or whatever in Roger Rabbit, you know? Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, and then when it casted Ryan Reynolds for the Pikachu movie, Detective Pikachu movie, I was like, in my mind, I already changed that voice out to like like Deadpool Pikachu. So, yeah, okay. <laughs> so then... <laughs> When uh, he showed me that video, I was like, oh, it's going back to what I originally thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's it's so confusing. I don't know why they did, did that, but I don't know. Yeah. It's just really random, random thing that happened. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. And um, that actually makes me a little worried about the Detective Pikachu movie as well. I mean, I was always worried about it to begin with, but mm-hmm. now it's like... <laughs> It's like, okay, so if Ryan Reynolds is going to be the voice, then is it just going to sound like Deadpool? Mm. And I just won't, I just can't, what was it? Like, there was a picture I saw at Comic-Con, the artwork, and it was Pikachu, but just wearing all red, like Deadpool costume. Yeah. And it was like, Pika pool. So, uh. <laughs> yeah. So now I'm just going to imagine that the whole time. Or oh, Deadchu. Deadchu. Deadchu doesn't sound as cool as I know, Pika. it doesn't sound as weird. Yeah. Deadchu sounds like Dead Yamcha. <laughs> so... <laughs> Oh, which I, did I tell you there's a dead Yamcha Funko? Yeah, I was going to say that. <laughs> yeah, that, that's funny. Yeah. Um, let's see. Let me check if there's anything else. Uh, Star Wars Resistance has a new trailer. Um, uh, the Watchmen TV series has been ordered for HBO. So it's going to premiere in 2019. Hmm. Mm, interesting. Uh, Wonder Woman has a scene. The next movie, Wonder Woman 1984, will have something that plays homage to The Breakfast Club. Um, yeah. And Lucasfilm canceled a Star Wars spinoff movie that's set on Tatooine, which thank goodness, I'm just like, no more Star Wars, like, spinoffs, please. Um, Jason Bourne's, <laughs> Jason Bourne television spinoff got, got a, a series order for the USA network. So now there's going to be a Jason Bourne TV series. <laughs> I mean, I think that will work. I'm well. okay with it, actually. Yeah, because it seems I, like it's a very episodic kind of um, story. Yeah, I don't think it's bad. I, I like Jason Bourne, though. Yeah, I think it will be like one of those shows. Like, uh, I don't know if you ever watched Nikita, Left Hand mm. Nikita, with uh, Maggie Q. I remember, but I haven't seen it. Yeah, I think it will feel like that, like a very like you know typical week. Uh, was it weekly 
kind of like enemy of the week. Oh, okay, um, okay. Yeah, with an overarching story. I think that would be good. Okay, that's, that's a, a typical week. I say week what? <laughs> week story? <laughs> <laughs> uh, save your pity for the week. Sorry, that's a Mortal Kombat quote. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. <laughs> okay. Okay, I don't have any more news items, do you? Uh, no, I do not. Okay, we'll move on to the topic of the episode. Topic of the episode. All right, so our topic, again, was suggested by John Layola. And John Layola is the host of the One Track Punk Show and co-host of the One Track Gamers podcast with Corey and Amanda. Um, so, oh yeah, and also they're part of the Press Continue um, Network. Mm-hmm. Am I mixing it up now? Sorry. No, that's, never mind. They're part of the Almost Better Network. So, the Almost Better Than Silence group, they have a network called Almost Better Network. So, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Almost Better, Corey. Yep, Almost Better. Right. So, um, they, if John says, if you gotta run a convention of your own, the NTFTTCon, what would you have and who would your headliners or guests be? Oh, God. Okay. okay. This, this is a tough one. Good question, though. Oh, good topic, though. Yeah. I'm like, no time for time travel, so should we have a bunch of clocks and time machines? A dinosaur. Oh, okay. <laughs> dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Yeah. Lots of dinosaurs. Actually, you know what would be cool? Is if the exhibit hall was like broken down to different eras of time. Oh, yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah, so as you're starting from the like, the entrance and you're going through, you're going f- through like from prehistoric to like modern times or like yeah, the future. Be cool. And the, yeah. the exit will be like the future stuff. The exit would just be a black void and it's like the end of the world or something. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Huh. Or the, or the, the, cool. the cheap version would just be clocks on the wall and it would just be different from different time zone or different time period, like sundial. Oh, um, yeah. Then suddenly move on to like digital. Or as you're walking through, your shadow points to a different time. I don't know. I don't know what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I mean, that, that, that would be a cool concept. So he asked, well, what would our headliner be or our. Yeah, who would be like our headliners or our guests and what would we have at our convention? I mean, if we're talking in the like the fantasy ish type, can we get like historical characters? You mean like like Albert Einstein and yeah, Nikola Tesla? Einstein. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we can, or we could just like have a bunch of people like the <laughs> cosplay competition for who's yeah, the best yeah, Einstein. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's just like dress. <laughs> it's a historic uh, convention. It's to just dress up as whatever it was in the past. That's true, I guess. Or that's yeah, that that'd be cool. Or like a mashup, right? A mashup of like historical figures. Mm-hmm. I don't know, like. How do you do his mashup of historical figures? I don't know. Like a- Abraham, Abraham Dinosaur? How about Elon Einstein? <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, that would sound cool. What? Did you say Abraham Dinosaur? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I can't get dinosaur out of my head. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm just thinking about dinosaurs now. I'm not even thinking about like people. <laughs> that would be cool. Uh, <laughs> Abraham Lincoln Dinosaur Hunter. <laughs> yeah, Dinosaur Hunter. Yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> That would be actually kind of cool. He rides like a dinosaur of a sort. Yeah, I, I, now I'm just imagining he's like using a velociraptor or like, you know, like those uh, those di- dinosaurs or creatures in a golden axe? You ever yes. That? Yeah. Yes. Or like an apatosaurus. What's an apatosaurus? Uh, yeah, look it up. I, I think I, that's the one. I don't even know how to spell it. <laughs> A-P-A-T-O and then saurus. Oh, okay. I imagine those are the ones that... Oh, wait. Actually, no, that's not the one I'm thinking of. A Palosaurus is pretty much a smaller Brontosaurus. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, that looks like a Brontosaurus. Man, which one is the one that has a flat, like, head that looks like a hammer? Oh, 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 God. Tell me about the one that looks like Dinotop- that's commonly seen in Dinotopia or something? Yeah, is it? Mm, oh, it's Pachycephalosaurus. I yes, guess. that one. Yeah, yeah, that one. Like, I, I imagine that would be, like, the one that um they'll use as kind of, like, their version of horses. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. Or, or, I mean, I'm, I'm okay with riding raptors, too. That's true. Raptors. Velociraptors. And then, and then well, so would our seats be, like, like, like the panel seats? They'll just be, like, eggs. They have to hatch eggs. <laughs> like hatching eggs. I don't know. I'm imagining more like this, the, the boat in the Willy Wonka movie. Like, you ever watch the Willy Wonka movie with uh, Gene Wilder? Yeah, I'm trying to remember what that, that looks like. The well, scary, you know, the scary scene where we're in the boat and then, like, there it's in the dark and everything's, like, red lights? Wait, watching it right now. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> I think I'm gonna look it up. Scary Willy. Wonka. No, it, it, there's actually a thing. I'll send it to you. Tell me this one, right? Let me see. Yeah, that one. Well, I didn't view it yet, but I just heard it from your audio. Yeah, it's. Oh, one. you hear me? Okay. Yeah. I kind of imagine like I just want them to be in that kind of scene throughout the whole convention. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, technically, when, when they enter, like let's say we said, uh, was it the the entrance would be uh, a bunch of time era thing, right? Different time era. Yeah. And then once they actually get into the, the main hall, the, the mini hall before that could have the lights. So it's like they're entering through a portal that goes into more modern time. Yeah. I, I, I do want that. And I actually want it to look like a Stargate. <laughs> like a from Stargate? Stargate. You know from Stargate, the, the movie and TV show? No. I know of it. I just never seen it. Oh, yeah. Just uh, look up Stargate and just just type in Stargate and you should know exactly what it is. Stargate. It's that giant um circular thing with like a... Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's yeah. Right. Right there, yeah. I think that would be cool. Let's um, see. So what kind of activities? Activities. Uh, I'm just thinking about like about the headliners again. Uh-huh. If, it's, if we're doing like practical stuff, like we can do like... Uh, like we can actually make all those uh time error thing, right? But then if it's practical stuff, where we just have like regular people that dress up like... Abraham Lincoln or the historical figures and that just happened to be like really knowledgeable about that person. Uh huh. So would it just be like a, a university professor that specializes in like Einstein and all his uh-huh. theories? So then we want him to role play as Einstein. Is that what we, is that oh what gosh. We <laughs> okay. And then the best role player wins. Oh yeah. That means you. Yeah. 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 Dude, that's going to be like, will the real Albert Einstein please stand up? <laughs> 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 oh my god! I, I just thought of something so horrible, though. <laughs> oh no! Don't 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 talk about Stephen Hawking. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you, you know exactly where it's going. Yeah, I just thought about that too, and I'm like, oh wait, you just read my mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Okay, <laughs> good, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll stop there. We'll stop. Okay, there. we'll stop there. <laughs> I, I respect you, Stephen Hawking. Yes, yes. Um, I think. Yeah, I think. What other? Okay, so let's think about what normal like convention activities are oh so um uh we could talk about we could have like a <laughs> it sounds really bad but we could have like a um kind of like a venue of like um dinosaur extinction survivors and be like a support group or something <laughs> <laughs> so, what, okay. what would our vendors be anyways like yeah i know i don't know what our vendors who would, would be who would sponsor us uh, I would say any show that has time travel in it. <laughs> so, so like shows like or like movies like Back to the Future that sort of thing. Yeah, Back to the Future or um, I mean, Stargate has some some time travel components. Yeah. Uh, uh I, I guess uh, would, would Turtles in Time count? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> okay, I, I mean, I don't even know. I guess that's that's like the topic for cosplay, right? Yeah, so I guess it's just time travel mashups for all the cosplay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anything that's time travel re- related. Yeah. I'm sure, like, Lamb, if he was going to go there, he's going to dress up as, like, one of the Chrono Trigger characters. I know. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So we, we can have... I mean... Uh, let's, let me see. If we or, have... Wait, technically, I think all of us, our characters are already time travel related. Because he's Chrono. You're, like, uh-huh. Mega Man X. And, oh yeah, and then I'm just Captain America. <laughs> oh, that's true. So, so when you see us in the con, you see Tony. Uh, you see like Chrono, Chrono, and you see like a Mega Man guy, and then you see Tony. I, I mean, uh, Frozen, the nice. Yeah. Stuff. So it's already all time travel related. That's true. Huh? Interesting. What? A, what a like revelation we just had. <laughs> no, right. <laughs> <laughs> Our names and characters, our favorite characters kind of all uh, intertwine somehow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> let's see. So, what else can we have? So, the vendors, I mean, what, what kind of exclusive items can be sold at the convention? I mean, so, so it's generally like mystery boxes, right? Or is it just a fixed thing? No, no. Mystery boxes are, you know, the random, like normal stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. But exclusive items would be like vendors selling things that they mm-hmm. made just for the con. Oh, okay. Let me see. Uh, let me okay, see. how about this? How about exclusive Funko Pops? Okay. Like, which ones would they be? Oh, uh, a, a watch. 
What? A watch? A, a watch. A it's Funko, Funko watch? Form. It could be like di- different clocks. Oh, there was, a, there was a comic book character where his face was a watch. Uh, like a clock. Do you remember that? No. Oh my gosh, I can't remember his name. Like, he's just like a humanoid person, but then his face was like a giant clock. Is it just now you're just sounding like you're you're naming what you would see uh, as people dressing up as. I guess so. It's just one person who's with, with just drawing the face as a clock with like the the hands, the hour hands, and minute hands. And you could actually he could be like a clock, but then like his face is also like he has eyes in there, but it looks flustered because he has no time for time travel. <laughs> <laughs> that that'll be our mascot. Yeah. Oh, there is. Okay, it's Clock King. Okay, look up Clock King. Clock King. Batman. Oh, he looks cooler than I thought it would. Wait, what, what am, I, am I looking at the right one? Um, oh, okay. No, no. He, yeah, the one where it looks like he's wearing PJs with clocks on it, and then his face is a giant clock. Right. Okay, hold on. Let me put Clock King and then comic. See if that shows better. Uh, Is it the one with the crown? No. Okay, so go to Google Images. Uh, I don't know that. Okay, and you typed in Clock King comic, like separate words, all three separate words. Okay. And then scroll down a bit, and you'll see one that's blue and yellow. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. Oh, that just looks like pajama. You're right. Pajamas and a cape, and then his face is a giant clock. Whoa. I I thought you were thinking about, like, this one. I didn't know how to describe this one. Uh, Is it a detective-looking one? This, This one. What is this? I don't know. Oh, this is from the cartoon. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen that that one for a while. Yeah, no, not that one. That's yeah. quite literally a clock king. You're a clock and you have a crown. Yeah. So so for listeners, uh, I guess you have to imagine a regular, ki- what do you imagine like a king would wear? Like with the cape uh, and like the the poofy shoulder pads um, and like a crown or like a, a poofy chef crown. But then for the face, it's like... Was it the the submarine? Not submarine. Uh, the what are they called? The divers, right? Scuba diver. Scuba diver suit thing. Uh huh. Like the headgear with, but we replace the face plate with like a clock, mm-hmm. a round clock. Hmm. So it's it's, it's kind of awkward. I have yeah. no idea. Yeah, I'm reading about the character, and uh-huh. apparently the clock king is uh, alter ego is William Talkman, like TikTok. Uh, oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, this is so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's it. Yes. Um, but, uh, so what kind of exclusive stuff are we talking about? Do we have to figure it out? Um, I don't know. Like, I'm trying to figure out what we, what we would sell that's, like, you know, limited edition for there. Yeah. No, no time. Time travel. Time travel. No time. Wait, wait, wait. So, since our podcast name is called No Time for Tri- uh, Time Travel, does that mean like the screening process for anybody to get in is they must remove all forms of uh, clock or watches on themselves, including said? Why would we do that? <laughs> but then that means we have to have a working time machine because you're assuming that if they don't bring the time things in, then they can t- travel through time. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's metaphoric. As they entered through the the exhibit hall entrance, right? Because they're traveling through time that way. In a I way. guess so. But then we also want people to come to our events. <laughs> so <laughs> on time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, on time. <laughs> and then we want them to document it. But if we're taking away their stuff. They won't be able to document it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> it's like a super exclusive event of like no pictures, no no nothing. Yeah, I mean Sounds you can like take. A- you could bring your own digital cam, uh, digital camera and everything. Just turn off the clock function. You just want someone to like, <clears throat> just someone to run into the convention and then ask like a vendor is like, "Hey, what 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 year is it?" And then someone says something. He's like, "Oh my gosh, it worked!" <laughs> <laughs> you know, now I'm thinking of like, uh, was it the rabbit from Alice in Wonderland? He's like, "I'm late, I'm late." Wait, why? Because he's always deal with time. He oh. Watch. And, then, and speaking yes. of other rabbits that are dealing with time, maybe we should get that creepy, scary rabbit from Donnie Darko. I don't know who that is. Donnie Darko. Look up rabbit from Donnie Darko. Okay. Rabbit. 
Danny Darko. It's uh, his name is Frank the Rabbit. <laughs> Typical Frank. <laughs> yeah, it's a scary, scary like rabbit costume. Well, what what does he do? I don't know. He's like a symbol. That movie is like very, very um, what's it called? Very uh, dark. Um, yeah, it's dark, but it's also very metaphorical. Okay. So he kind of represents the evils of time or something like that. Oh, so he does represent some sort of time. Yeah, because the movie is about time travel. Mm, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. That, that's unexpected. Yeah. The yeah the movie doesn't seem like it's a time travel movie, and as you're watching it, then you kind of realize it near the end that it's like it's related to it. So it, it's weird. It's a really weird movie. Mm, yeah. Man, now I want to dress up as this character for Halloween. I mean, you still can. You still you're like a month and a half away. Yeah, but then no one will get it anymore. Yeah, and then you also be going to a kid's hospital. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. No, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> okay. <let's see. laughs> um. So we still have to figure out the exclusive uh, co- uh, I mean, item, right? Yeah, we haven't. Mm. No time for time travel. Uh, no time. No time. I'm just thinking, like, oh, those, oh, just like a clock, the wind up clock, mm-hmm. so that when you wind it up, it just runs. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know why I'm thinking that. Time's running away. Time's running. You what? <laughs> I'm just thinking of, of a reason to have it. Just for the exclusive item. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, oh, it's, it's time's running out or something. I don't know. We could also do a ta- uh, time travel escape room. So, so are you escaping into escaping time? You're escaping. Hmm. You're escaping. The, the, ah, shoot, I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, is, are we going into the future, escaping, you're trapped in the past, and then you to go back into the future. <laughs> so, back to the future? <laughs> or, or are you in the present, and you have to change the past? Hmm, I don't know. But what would be cool is, like, if you're playing that game, and then what you're doing can affect the future, or what you're doing, um... Uh, breaks the past or something like that. Mm. Like maybe, maybe you have a broken time machine. Okay. And you're you're st- you're stuck, right? You travel through time that you're stuck. Uh-huh. Maybe it's in the future, or maybe it's in the past. Don't know. But let's say in the past, right? So yeah. Okay. Let's let's you start in the present day, and then you activate your time machine, and then you you go to the past. And uh, in your present day, you're like, while you're in the present day, you are locked up, and there's no way for you to get out. So mm-hmm. you time machine, you time machine travel into the past, but now your machine's broken. So that in the past, you got to figure out how to break your machine. I mean, fix your machine. <laughs> but then you 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 also have to figure out what you need to do in the past, so that when you go back into your present, you have what you need to escape. Okay, that that that's generic enough. Yeah, and then hmm. so, so I, I was just thinking, like when you said like you you break the machine. Yeah, I'm thinking of uh. Um, Street Fighter <laughs> that those bonus round where oh, yeah. breaking like the, the cars you break, we have like a time machine that they just break it <laughs> a fully loaded time machine <laughs> yeah this is why this is why we can't tra- uh, time travel it's like bonus round <laughs> <laughs> um, what do conventions normally have you, you've been to a lot of conventions Tony they had they four have- escape rooms or five escape rooms at Comic Con <laughs> so oh. that's why I said escape room Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so escape room, we have some already. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, the exhibit hall, like, we, we don't know who our vendors are going to be yet. Yeah, we um, have, uh, so we don't know our vendors, we don't know our sponsors, we don't know, but, but we do know that we have, we could have special guests. This is a very bad convention, by the way. <laughs> no one's going to go to our convention. I mean, what, Lamb will, he, he loved history. <sighs> just Lamb. Yeah, just just Lamb, yeah. who's also one of the co-hosts, so he has to be there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, this is just Lamb's convention. <laughs> you know what would be cool though is we could actually have um all the related like history or time time travel related podcast um hosts. They could like be there too to represent and advertise themselves. Oh, cool! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then artwork, I think we could do like really cool, like have the artists that do like mashup artwork. Yeah. Um. That they could sell their art there. Mashup artwork being like, I don't know. Um, uh, it's a word. What was that? Are you, are you talking about a different time period sort of thing? Like, a yeah. Cartoon, or like a modern just making, 
having to draw it in like Rembrandt style or something. Yeah, or know. like just team up of like people from current time with people in the past, right? Mm. I don't know, like or just draw like Nikola Tesla driving a Tesla. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> something like that. If we can get, uh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. If we can get Elon Musk to dress up as Tesla. He he could like host a panel. By the way, uh, we should have a bunch of panels. But anyway, he yeah, should yeah. host a panel and he should just be Nikola Tesla. <laughs> yeah, he's just Tesla. He cosplay as him or something. That'd be funny. Require all of our panelists to like dress up as some kind of like person in the past or the future. No, that, that, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Um. So yeah, panels is another thing, right? So panels for all time travel related TV shows and movies. Yeah. That's um, good. Um, definitely a panel for, you know, Michael J. Fox because Back to the Future. Uh, let's see, panel for, for video game makers for like Turtles in Time. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, or Prince of Persia Sands of Time. Uh. Or, time or Time Splitters. <laughs> uh, or, or John Claude Van Damme for Time Cop. Mm. <laughs> hmm, there's a lot of time related stuff, huh? There's a lot. Cause then there's like Chrono Trigger, uh, for games. Uh, a series like we were saying is like Mega Man X sort of thing. And then oh, we could yeah. do competitions too. What kind of competitions? Are you thinking about? Like not just the the um cosplay one, but we could do like like a, a indie game competition. Mm. Like the best time travel related game, or best use of time travel in a indie game, or you know something like that, or best use of time travel in a short film. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like a festival sort of thing. Yeah, that would be it's cool. Not a festival, but it's like a it's like an award ceremony. Yeah, yeah. Or they could do specific ones just for that um, convention. Mm. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I don't know what else. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm out of ideas for now. Uh, 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 but how do you see? What are we missing? Sponsors? Sponsors? I don't know who's going to sponsor us. I really don't. Yeah, I don't know. Some sort of watch company, or maybe NASA. <laughs> 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 they may be involved with black holes and time travel. I don't know. Uh, yeah, we'll have Rolex sponsor us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, I'm fine with that. Yeah, double seven <laughs> MGM double seven. Oh, I think that was seven. Huh. So okay, so sponsors, vendors, uh, artists, podcasters. Uh, we don't know what we're selling for toys and exclusives. <clears> hmm. <throat> We could have one of those, you know, pins, like exclusive pins, but the pin itself can have like a, uh, some kind of moving part that makes it look like a portal if you spin it like a fidget spinner. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. I like that. Oh, that could yeah. be that exclusive item then. Yeah, yeah. Like it would be exclusive to the convention. So you can only get it by being at the convention. Yeah, that's good. I like yeah. that one. Yeah. It's better than the stupid watch idea I had. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, the watch thing could actually be cool too, because you could have a regular watch, but the you know the background of your screen uh-huh. could also be like spinnable. So when you spin it, it looks like it's a portal. Oh, so how do you spin it? Do you like just gyrate your wrists? You could have that, or you could have like a external button that that cranks it. Oh, okay, like that, when you press into it, then it spins it. That's smarter, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen stuff like that before, like my Pokedex that I got. Where you press the button on the outside, the inside will spin and light up. Uh huh. Yeah. I have a Pokedex toy from like two years ago for Comic Con. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yep. And that'll look like it kind of lights up like the Doctor Strange thing, like the Doctor Strange symbols when he does magic. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what else. I think, I we're, I think we're good. Uh, it's all, all I had were ideas of like dinosaurs and random uh, figures or historical figures. Yeah. Okay. Okay, John. Hope you're happy. <laughs> I hope you attend our our con. I know you. You better be there. We made it just for you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see. <clears throat> let's move on to the community question. You 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 got mail. You 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 got mail. You 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 got mail. You you. you All can- right. So the community question last week was: Where would you want to visit in our galaxy? Oh God. <laughs> uh. Uh. Duh. Uh, I'm, I'm going to read some, some limited to just Earth. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to read some. No, no, survival doesn't matter. So <laughs> Yeah. Um, let me see. So, <laughs> John says Uranus. Uh, <laughs> and then <laughs> Kinetic says, for the diamond rain, I presume. Then he puts like a 
a um a link to Gizmodo, uh-huh. and Gizmodo talks about like how that the planet you're in is has like really weird like diamond shattering um rain. Uh-huh. So yeah, and then John says yes, yes, that's what it was. <laughs> uh, Judge Greg, the host of the Real Hero Talk podcast and managing editor for the Enthusiasts Network and co-host of the Gamers Without Borders podcast. He says, I kind of like Earth with its breathable air and all that. Wouldn't mind in a few hundred million. Wouldn't mind in a... Hold on. There's a typo somewhere in here. <laughs> Let me check. Uh, okay. Wouldn't mind if a few hundred million people pick somewhere else, though. Okay. And then uh, Anthony from uh, the Video Game Crosstalk podcast responded to him and sent a link of NASA and then talks about how in the future people are going to be touring... You know, like Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and stuff like that. <clears throat> um, almost better than silence. They say Mars. I think there are buried pyramids there too. And then um, Anthony from Video Game Crosstalk says, why not Mercury? See what the sun is like from that close. Um, and then Kinetic, uh, also from Enthusiax, and he's the host of the Behind the Line Radio. He says, Enceladus might have life and get a naked eye view of the Saturn rings. Titan might be neat for its atmosphere. But that could obstruct the view of the rings. So he's talking about the moons of of Saturn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Titan, anyway. right? Yeah. So yeah, do you have one yet? Um. Well, okay. Um. I am going to go. Uh. Well, actually, I also want to check out like Saturn. Just see what it, like the rings of Saturn. So I will uh-huh. be on, on on the rings of Saturn on it. But you're gonna be on the rings of Saturn <laughs> on it. <You're laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, the rings of Saturn. It's just a whole bunch of asteroids, I know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just want to make sure you understood that. Uh, on it. <laughs> okay. I'm going to be on one of those asteroids. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Now, I'm just imagining you riding the asteroid like a dinosaur. Like, <laughs> I mean, it's, yeah. it's like, go, asteroid, go. And then, like, behind the asteroid is, like, is like a trail of rainbows or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a race. A constant... Uh, the asteroids are constantly racing around Saturn. We just don't know about it. Oh my gosh! And that's just a racetrack. Yeah, that's just a racetrack. <laughs> you, you remember how there's like a is it Mario Kart? There's a yeah. Rainbow Road. Rainbow Road. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh my so gosh! It's like the live version of it, asteroid form. Okay. All right. Moving on. <laughs> 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 Moving on to game time. Let's do a video game twenty questions. Is that good? Sure. Oh, do, do we need to ask a question of the day or a question? Community question? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, going back. Yeah, we need to ask a community question. Good catch. All right. Let's see. Uh, 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 I can't remember what we haven't asked yet. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, <clears throat> I guess it's kind of morbid in a way. Okay. okay. <laughs> if you have no arms, whose arm would you get to replace it? <laughs> I mean, my immediate reaction was Jax from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think I think it would be cool to have um, either Agent Coulson's arm or um, Ulysses Claw's arm. Um, the, so Ulysses Claw is from uh, Black Panther. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, his arm is the super cybernetic can do anything arm. Um, Agent Coulson is the same thing too. Like. It's pretty much like it can do anything. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that would be my immediate thought answers. <laughs> if, if I can't have those, I'll, I'll go with Jax. I'm surprised you didn't get like Scorpion's arm where you can actually shoot things. Tell the Scorpion's arm doesn't shoot things. Well, what am I thinking of? You're thinking about the movie, which was inaccurate. Oh. Damn yeah, it. I like the inaccurate yeah. stuff though. It's not this cooler. <laughs> yeah, no. In, in, uh, the, in, the, in the game, he actually has a harpoon on his uh, waist. He throws that thing over. Oh, that's that's cool. I know. Well, what about Sub Zero then? I guess he shoots well, I mean, ice. You have to. Fine. You, you have two arms. You can have one of each if you want. Well, then you're just saying that any of the then the, just use Shang Tsung's arm. It can morph into anything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you you got like the two arms that could do anything right now. <laughs> I know. Well, if I have Shang Tsung's arm, then I can morph into those arms if I wanted to. <laughs> the, the universal arm. Uh, that, that, I think that's why I was going to choose, like, Venom's arm. Symbiotic. See? It's the same thing. It could do anything. Yeah. Which, 
Yeah, I regret nothing. <laughs> All right, cool. Now we can move on to <laughs> video game 20 questions. Okay. Um, you want to guess or do you want to think of the game? Uh, I can guess. You can guess? I hope I can get it. Okay. Um, okay, let me think of something first. Uh, let's see. Well, oh, it's going to be hard. I really don't know what to do. <laughs> I think I already got one. Okay, I got one. Okay. Uh, is this game before 2000? Yes. Okay. Is this game on the Super Nintendo? Ooh, uh, let me check. Hold on. No. Is this a Nintendo game? No. Okay. Uh, have I played this game before? Pretty sure you have. Okay. I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure you have. Okay. I think I think most people I know have played it. Is it on? Is it single player? No. Okay, two multiplayer. Uh, I mean, obviously you can play single player, but you know, yeah, it's yeah. a multiplayer game. Yeah, it has two. It has options for two players. So, um, PlayStation was uh in two thousand like four, right? No, PlayStation started ninety five. Oh, right, five. Okay. Is this game in 3D? No. Okay, good. Back to the TD. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is the main, or is, is the brand pretty well, no, or is it a, um, a series, a long running series? Um, what do you mean by that? Uh, at least three. Okay, well, it's not like, it's its own series that keeps going, but there are games in this series. Does that make sense? No. Okay. Um, it's... It's like there's spinoffs, you mean? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Like that. Okay. Uh, I mean, every game, almost every game is like its own game. There's not many direct sequels. If there are sequels, they're not named like they're sequels. Right. Yeah. Is this game still being produced today? Or recently, um, this the <laughs> this series—it's not even a series. I can't really say. I mean, things are still being made in this like universe. Okay, so in a way, but yes, but not really directly from it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so it's, the theme is there, right? Yeah. Okay. Kind of. Uh, is this a racing game? Nope. Action game. Um, what? I guess you can consider it action. Like like action platformy. Yeah, not so much platformy, but like action. By the way, that's ten questions. Okay, I'm trying to go as fast as I can, and now I'll, I'll struggle in the last two. Okay. <laughs> uh, the, does this game have a character that's really well known? Yes. Is that well no- known character a male? Um, yeah. I mean. There are many characters that are well known in this game. Oh, god. Yeah. Uh, is this developed by a Japanese company? Uh, yeah, actually. Uh, oh. Is this an action? Uh, is this on the N- Nintendo? I thought you, did you ask that already? Uh, I asked Super Nintendo, but I don't know oh. if it matters. Then, well, no. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you thought it was Nintendo before as well. Okay. Um, game that's made that currently has some remnants of a remake. <laughs> Wait, so when you said action, what what did you mean by action? Because I'm, what do you define as action then? Or, I, I, or that's not a real question. Now mind you, I can't Okay, that. well, I would say something like Double Dragon would be action. Oh. <clears throat> so, is, so would you say it's like a beat-em-up type? Yeah, yeah, it's a beat-em-up. Okay. I'm not going to uh, count that as a question because you clarified, so. Okay. Okay, good. Good. Uh, let's see. Beat them up. Many players, many well-known players that I've most likely played. Are the main characters human? <laughs> um, I, I feel like they're meant to be human, even though they may not look like human. But they may look like human, but maybe they're just kind of like you would. It's questionable if they're human, but I think they're meant to be human. Oh gosh, I'm I'm pretty sure they're meant to be human. Okay, I'm very sure, very sure that they're meant to be human. But you can question whether they're human. Uh, they're 
<laughs> oh, that just confused me more. Okay, so they're they're deformed human. Oh, that's a very good explanation for it. Yeah, yeah, deformed human. Uh, that's fifteen questions, by the way. Oh god, <laughs> I'm I'm trying to wrap my brain of all like the deformed humans that I've seen that's potentially used recently themed. Oh wait, speed them up is not a fighting game. Okay, uh, that's well known. Well known. It's not the Nintendo Super Nintendo. So, is this an arcade game? Yes, it's an arcade game. Okay. Okay. Arcade in the 90s that is so pixel- it's pixelated that it looks like it's deformed. <laughs> Multiplayer. Uh, so, that means two to four. But you beat them up. Uh, it's not Tekken because that's fighting. Uh... Tekken's 3D too, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, we're, it's done by a Japanese company. Uh, is this themed in, is this a fantasy themed? Oh. Or is it like, it, it feels like it's not, it's like the historical. No, it's not like the fantasy that you're thinking of. It's because like historical, right? No, no, it's not like any of that. It's, oh. it's fictional. I would say that. But right. it's real landmarks, but it's fictional. Okay. But not really real landmarks, more just like real cities, but not really states. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Or, uh, uh, do you... Wait, let, let, let me check something and see if this game is, is, not, is a Japanese company. Mm-hmm. I could tell you I was surprised when I found out this game was a Japanese company. Uh... Wikipedia. Was there a movie based on this? I mean, there was a movie based on the franchise. It's a franchise. Oh, I don't so, even know. It's, let's see. That's 18 questions, by the way. Oh, God. Oh. One more question and one guess. Oh, my God. Uh, let's see. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, hold on. Uh, uh, what, what, what kind of question can I guess? Deform humans that I could that I possibly play that speed them up. Okay, so beat them up. So that means not rampage. That doesn't count. Uh, I don't even know what rampage is considered. Yeah, I don't even know. Uh, uh, let's see. Oh, deform humans. That that clue threw me off so much. <laughs> I feel like that should have been worded better. <coughs> uh, okay, it's so a franchise that or like it's a spinoff that has well-known characters. I didn't say this was a spinoff. Oh, no, I mean, it has spinoffs made yeah. recently of well-known characters. Oh, okay, so it's not Final Fantasy because it's not RPG. Beat em up. Beat em up have I played. It's like River City Ransom, but that's obviously human. And then it's... It's an arcade beat em up. That, that should help you. I don't even know what it's called, actually. I only know what one, and then... I'd be very surprised if you haven't played this, actually. Uh, the only one I know is, like, Street of Rage. But that's also on the Nintendo as well. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh my god. Is, is Final Fight? What? The rest Super Nintendo was on there. But, mm, what can it be? Uh, that still has characters that's memorable. I don't remember anything from Final Fight, like character wise, or Street of Rage, or SMK, or let's see, Mario is a platformer. <laughs> uh, so I'm trying to think of a hint that won't give it away. Oh, oh I could, I have a hint. You want okay. a hint? Sure. It takes place in a city that is a, has a very ambiguous state. You don't know what state it is. State of emergency? <laughs> what? Uh, no, 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 I'm just kidding. Uh, it's, it's a very iconic city, but it has been always been questionable what state it's in. That confused me. Okay. Let me think of something else. <laughs> iconic city, what state it's in. How about this one? It It's based on a TV show. Okay. Based on that, one, that should help you a lot. 
There's not many beat em ups based on TV shows. I'm just trying to remember arcade. all the beat em ups that I, I've played or know of. Because it's not Double Dragon or, or any of that. Because that was on Nintendo. Uh, Battle Toad is definitely not it because it's definitely not human. Uh, based on a TV show before in the 90s. Oh, 90s TV show. Uh, uh, 90s TV show. The characters. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. Wait, uh, you get it? This, this is my, actually, I need, let me check if, if this is, oh, hold on. <laughs> if it's a Japanese company? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, okay. Are the characters yellow? Yes. Is it The Simpsons? Yes, arcade The Simpsons game. arcade game. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I see what you mean now. Deformed humans. Because <laughs> they're yellow. I don't know if they're humans or not. But yeah. <laughs> they are they have special guest stars on it. Oh. <laughs> on the TV shows. So I'm pretty sure they're human. But they're yellow, so I don't know if they're human. They're, they're humanoid. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I guess Develop- it is a, a beat em up. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Developed by Konami. Yeah, I know. I okay, know. That, that, that's why I had to search it out. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I did not know it was developed by Konami until I just looked it up earlier. I'm glad I asked that, though. That, that's actually pretty important. <laughs> yeah. I was like, man, what the heck? Huh, that was very shocking when you asked me the developer. I'm like, yeah, it is a Japanese company. <laughs> <laughs> But now that I think back about it, I do remember the screen painting this, the painting the screen left to right as Konami mm-hmm. when you play that game in the arcade. But yeah. You played that, right? Yeah, yeah, we played together. As yeah. As I'm, like, I'm pretty sure. Oh, Xbox, it. PlayStation. Yeah, they put it on the, the PlayStation Network too. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Uh, cool. Good job. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's move on to the final lap. All right. Anything for you to promote? Uh, same as always. Uh, check out my friend's channel, Hype Man Vince. He does food blogs and uh, random things. Uh, also, uh, our friend uh, Steve, the Mindful Builder. I do not have his handle name or anything. Uh, he yeah, has a website, the right? <laughs> the Mindfulbuilder dot com, and then uh, you can find his uh, social media from there. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, he he does custom like woodworking. So. You guys can check it out if you want some custom ones. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and then uh, check us out on all social media platforms. We are the same across the board, NTFTC Pod, um, Twitch. I haven't streamed much lately. YouTube, I uploaded episode two of Why So Similar. Mm-hmm. So that is our series on video game music and what songs that they sound like. So check that out. And I guess nothing else, right? Not that I could think of. Okay. Awesome. So thank you to everyone who contributed. And uh, no time for time travel. Signing off. Hurdiger and Warp Speed. See ya. Bye. Come with me if you want to live. No time for time travel.